Now, the presidential election in Turkey appears to be headed for a runoff vote later this month. So far, neither President Erdogan or his opponent, Kemal Kilish Darulu, have managed to reach the 50% vote threshold needed to secure a victory. So what is the current state of the share of votes in Turkey? Well, President Erdogan so far has 49.4% of the vote, while his main rival, Kemal Kilish Darulu, has received 44.9%. A third candidate, the nationalist politician Sinan Ogan, secured 5.2% of the votes. If the election heads for a runoff, then the two leading candidates, Erdogan and Kilish Darulu, will go head to head in two weeks' time. Our Europe correspondent Anna Parsons has the latest on the situation in Turkey for us. Well, this is the headquarter building of the AK party, it's President Erdogan's political movement. And last night, in the small hours, he appeared on the balcony behind me, proclaiming his victory. Well, I don't think he actually has got an outright win in the first round. We're going to go to a, a second round runoff. But there's no doubt that the president will be much happier about this round of voting than his challenger, Kamal Kirishtarolu. Many people have predicted that this would be the moment of change for Turkey, that Erdogan's 20-year grip on power would come to an end. Instead, he seems to have come out stronger in the voting. And I have to say, I think some of the air has come out of the balloon for this coalition of opposition parties. What has gone wrong for them? Well, perhaps some people were put off by the fact that beyond the idea of getting rid of Erdogan, they didn't really have anything else that held them together. Probably plenty of others looked at Erdogan and thought he is a strong, stable leader who has stood up to the West and stood up to America. A second round of voting to come, but it is Erdogan who will go into that as the favourite.